Hey y'all, it's your girl Maria and we are back with another one from Tommy Johansson. This one just came out a few days ago. I've been on a hiatus, so I hadn't been able to check out any music or do any reactions. So we're back today though. We're going to catch up with Mr. Tommy. He has paid my dues. It's an, it looks like a, it's a song from Anastasia, Anastasia. I'm terrible with names. I really am. Anyway, it's a metal cover. Yay. Because it, it, here's my thing. Tommy has this incredible talent where he can play multiple instruments, do multiple editing and sing and, 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 and just musicality and just putting things together so beautifully. There's a true artistry to what he does. There really is. And I am always astonished by how creative he gets. And so I'm hoping he gets creative with this one because he usually does. Um, but I am so ready to hear this. So you guys already know if you want to show love and support to the artist and or myself, because you know you want to, remember, description box below. Make sure you check it out. In the meantime, let's get started, because I don't want to waste any more time. Let's just do this. first time where I really feel like when I'm looking at him he's really like coming in hard because usually I say like even when he sings he still looks jovial like he always looks happy and he never looks like he can be upset and I think this is probably the closest I've seen him like look really serious um love that red guitar I wonder like does he ever talk about why like how he ends up choosing the guitars that he wants to use for whichever videos or does he just pick them at random I don't know like I, I haven't I, honestly I haven't looked into it but it, it's because it just the question just kind of popped in my head just now but I mean he's singing so well I do love the special effects that he's doing on this video um I don't know who the original artist is I, I've never heard of that artist is this like a it says it's a metal cover so the song isn't originally a, a metal cover what genre was it before um uh, like I said, I've never heard of this artist, uh, Anastasia. So kind of curious to know, like, is he, is, is the original song a, a rock song and he turned it into a metal cover or was it like a ballad and he turned it into a metal cover? I, I don't know because I've, again, never heard of Anastasia. So anyway, let's keep going. Tommy J. <laughs> I love it.
love it. I have to say like all of the things that he's doing in the video and I know he just recently left um, Sabaton so he could focus on his group and his own personal career but I wonder like is that I, I feel like now we're looking at his newer videos and he has much more effects and special things going on with his video than he did with some of his older things and I only wonder if that was just because of a time constraint or if he always had this in him you know to do that because I think he's doing a really, really great job. The the way that the video is coming across, it's it's very, it looks very '80s, early '90s um, kind of vibe to it. But he's like his voice is awesome. That what he has going on for his creativity is awesome. We all know, I love hearing him play the guitar. He's amazing at it. I, I just I, I I feel like his last couple of videos since his announcements has really his videos have been a little bit more elevated I don't know is it just me am I just going crazy here because it feels like it is he's doing a really great job with it if it because like I it's not him just singing and then cutting to like the instruments and then cutting back to his face singing like there's a lot more going on there's lighting there's effects there's words coming across you know scrolling across there's you know, I mean, just a little while he pixelated himself. Like, there's a lot going on there. And it's really creative and it's really great to see him doing that. So I almost wonder, like, is that because he now has, it was like a time constraint before, now he has more time to do it. Very creative. I like, I like, like, observing all of those aspects of what he does here. Even that slow-mo at the end, it was like perfectly timed. Yeah, so again, like I just, I wonder, you know, is that why the videos look more elevated recently or not? I mean, he sang it beautifully. He played beautifully. The video is awesome. There, There's just, you know... I have to wonder if that's attributed to having more time in his schedule, not being part of Sabaton. Has he officially left Sabaton yet? I don't know. Um, I know there's a video and I need to like watch the video and I haven't done it yet. And I've just been so, so busy. Um, but this was great. I loved it. I loved watching every last part of that. And um, glad we got to catch up a little bit on his <laughs> new release because I, like I said, I was really, really busy on a hiatus this past weekend and had to get stuff done. So anyway, that's going to do it for this one. If you guys like the content, you know what to do. Remember description box below, make sure you check it out. And um, yeah, that's going to do it. So live your lives fabulously and I'll see y'all on the next one. Bye.